where, where do we find you guys in the beginning of the season after what all of our did uh, in, in, in the season finale? Sad, lost, hungry. Yeah, uh, searching for the meaning of life. Yeah. You know. Um, in the middle of Tokyo, caught yeah. in a windstorm. Yeah. <laughs> And the windstorm's filled with sand as well, so we might as well call it a sandstorm. Yeah, it's almost like we're in a desert in yeah. the middle of the city. That's right. <laughs> so I hope that answers your question. I, oh. <laughs> and I don't know the whole season. Perfect. A lot of spoilers in this. Chat. A lot of spoilers. You got to decipher them, though. We've just dropped so oh, many okay. mysteries. I like to do interviews like it's three truths and a lie. Yeah. I like but to do the three lies and a truth. sound like lies. <laughs> well, here are the some truths and lies, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. First, do we say what the truths are? No, we have to say that. You That's can. not how yes, it works. That's not how the game works. That's not how the game works. You'll catch on. Yeah. Um, Cher and Meryl make a guest star appearance in the first episode of Arrow Season 7. Mm -hmm. uh, Stephen Amell also makes a guest star appearance in the first episode of Season 7. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stephen Amell has a beer gut and will be shirtless for the entire Season seven. And the last one was the truth one, I think. <laughs> we'll all be shirtless. So it's, it's in our riders, it's in our contracts now. So yeah. definitely that's our riders. Well, this season, um, with, with all the we'll see if these uh, take for the riders and the flash and become the de facto leader. Yeah, I mean, I, I would I would presume so. When it comes to okay. That was our boss. That was my boss, yeah. <laughs> Did I see anything wrong? Uh, ooh, that was hard. Now we can relax. Yeah, now we can finally. Okay, here we are, guys. Um, she will, and if she can, you know, I think like if she can call Iris for tips, I think that would be a really cool thing to do. I think that the two of them should work together more. The fact that we live in seven worlds and pretend they're only one world for one episode of the year is very strange to me. <laughs> they should call more, and there should be more crossovers that aren't the one crossovers. Just a crossover like full of game night. Yeah. yeah. Like everyone should just come over and play a game, have fun. <laughs> Just take on those micro well, aspects of life, place. right? Yes. Yeah. 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 I want to see them eat pizza. It be like wet Brush their teeth. Yeah. A whole hour Just of people brushing their brush teeth. Their teeth. <laughs> I mean, I'd be fascinated. It'd be great. Well, of course, flossing and no, mystery it. would be in there too. Fuck of course. It. You don't need yeah. to floss. All you're going to do is mouthwash. <laughs> but the, the dentist said you need to floss. No, man, I've never had a cavity. Okay, well, <laughs> well you heard it here. <laughs> it's that Canadian water. Oh, well, yeah. Well, the West Coast water. The West Coast yeah, in general. Yeah, like the in coast, which is the thing, the inland. The inlands. <laughs> the in coast is very yeah, hard to yeah, describe. <laughs> what coast are you from? The inner one. I like the outer one. Sorry, sir. Are you okay? <laughs> so, how has Felicity been uh, as a mother with William now with Oliver being in prison? How has that been right? for her? Yeah, I got this. Uh, you know, she's <laughs> been very delicate with him initially. But if he spouts out at the mouth too much, she will yell at him. I just want to say I'd that. like to reiterate a point that if Lizzie had actually birthed William, she mm. would have been 12. That's true. <laughs> so, I, feel, I, do, I do feel like she has stepped up to the role as a mother, but only because she's just... Uh, but I think, too, as a friend. I mean, the kid isn't so much a kid. I mean, he's lost a lot. He's grown up a lot. And... You know, I, I just, every time we started to see something, I'm like, you're older than we treat you in these scenes. Like, yeah. he has to be older. And I think, like, he's becoming an adult more rapidly than I think I became an adult. And, and, and probably we all did. Like, he yeah. that character suffered losses that, and yeah. had to grow up and in they a way. age you so quick. Yeah, like, kind of he, he's got to be, like, 75 years yeah, old. Yeah, he's a 75 year old man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my bones probably. are creaking, but his. Yeah, yeah. 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 And obviously, Curtis is 14 inside. He hasn't dealt with a lot of loss. No, he hasn't dealt with <laughs> Except for divorce. I mean, whatever. Everyone's gotten divorced. Everyone. But speaking of loss, divorce you know, right. actually, quite a bit of loss towards you know the end of um, the last season. And so, do you think that this will make Curtis more on board with the mission, or will he start to think, "Hey, look at look how dangerous. Look what keeps happening to everyone I love. Do I? Does he back off?" I got this. Yeah. <clears throat> so Curtis, I think, will not back down. I think that he will find love and he will dance along a beautiful rainbow into the abyss of night on a unicorn. Yeah. While listening to the soundtrack from Flashdance. Oh my god, thank god. Right? I yeah, mean, there's, there's only some, one way to ride it. There's only one way to ride it. It's the Flashdance. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he'll definitely, I, I think he'll. <laughs> He'll, uh, he'll stick with it, but he might approach it from a different aspect, maybe. But, you know, I think the loss uh, will not deter him from doing the right thing. 
No, I think if we opened our minds up, I think there's a lot of ways to ride a unicorn. There's true. <laughs> right, you can hop on the back. You can you you can do the the the, the horn. Really what is that? What do you call that? I was the unicorn horn. The unicorn horn, really right? Really hoping yeah. someone was gonna go there because in my mind that looks painful. Yeah. And like some horn in the deep ends of the internet. I just hope it's a, a thick horn because <laughs> I want. Because if I'm riding on it, you know, I'm, I'm holding. I don't want to break off. I just don't want to break off. Everything hurts today. This is painful. <laughs> That was no euphemism in that. I was just strictly talking about a unicorn horn. I, if you rode this, on a unicorn's head, you would have grabbed the horn with your hands. This is a safe space, and right? Just, this is safe. This is okay. not. This How is not big is this unicorn you're riding? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much.